This video takes a look at a new effect in my JSFX set called Echo Cycles. Echo Cycles is a feedback delay effect where the echoes move around the stereo space. It's kind of like a more flexible version of a ping pong delay. Let's take a look. Here we have a simple snare sound. To start, we'll add Echo Cycles. And now we can hear some echoes bouncing around the stereo space. Let's turn up the feedback so we can hear that it's not just bouncing from left to right like a ping pong, but moving all around the stereo field. First, let's look at the stereo section up here. These two dials control how echoes move around the stereo space. We can control the starting position and also the speed. So if we want to, we can emulate a classic ping pong sound. This display on the right shows the echo pattern. Each row represents an echo with two circles to show the stereo width. We can see here that the echoes are now alternating between left and right. If we turn the rotation speed right down, the echoes move across the stereo space more slowly. This accents control changes the pattern. If we pull it right down, the echoes pan across and back evenly. If we turn it right up, it pans slowly from one side to the other, and then quickly back again. It also introduces some amplitude variation, so the quicker return sweep is quieter too. The display on the right shows this by changing the relative size of the circles. This amplitude variation is also useful when the rotation is faster, because it produces a subtle rhythm within the echoes. Next, let's look at the filter section down here. This section adds a subtle band pass, which allows some frequencies to echo on for longer. You can control the strength of this filter using the strength dial here. This filter is inside of the feedback loop, so each echo is more filtered than the last one. The dry and wet dials here are hopefully obvious. The delay controls here can be specified using milliseconds, or in terms of quarter notes. That's the basics, so now let's have a bit of fun. The drum sound I started with is actually part of a longer loop, so we're going to extend that out. When we play it now, we get a complex rhythmic mixture, but it's quite busy and muddled. We want to hear those echo tails more clearly, so we're going to add a slow moving filter sweep. First, we add re EQ ahead of our echo cycles effect. And we set up a low pass filter with a bit of a peak on it. We want this filter to move around, so we'll just wiggle this frequency control, and now when we go to params, it shows the frequency as our most recently touched parameters. Let's select parameter modulation here, and we want a low frequency oscillator. Our filter frequency is now moving about, that's good. For LFOs, I find it most intuitive to use centered mode, which means we set the center value and the oscillation depth separately. We'll turn the LFO frequency way down, which means that it very slowly roams up and down the frequency range. This gives us a nice sense of motion and also some more space for us to hear the echo tails. Let's have a listen. Echo cycles is particularly useful when used with other effects and synths. So let's take a bit of a detour and pull out another effect from my bag of tricks, hammer and chord. Hammer and chord is a string resonator. I'm not going to go into detail about it here. I'm just going to load in a preset. However, the general idea is that we're using virtual strings to resonate whatever audio input we like. So our drum sounds turn from tuneless percussion into the impulse being used to pluck or hit a string. As you can see, we've added a track with some MIDI in it. It's just some chords being held down. All the rhythm is going to come from our drums. So let's listen to our drums again.
and now with hammer and cord enabled. To polish off, let's use Springbox to get some ambient space in there. So that's Echo Cycles, plus a bit of a distraction as well. Echo Cycles is relatively simple, but I hope you find it useful. There are instructions for how to install it in the video description, as well as links to some presets. I'm making videos for my other effects as well, so do check those out, or subscribe for future ones, and have fun making music.